Hi everyone, Guy and Penny from Midwinter Minis here. In this episode, we're going to be painting up Esper and Locarno from Blackstone Fortress in record time. First things first, we added basing elements and primed the model black following the steps in our previous episodes. Time to start the clock and get painting! The first thing Guy added was the purple. Thin it with a tiny bit of water so it flows nicely, and using your standard brush, paint all of Esperne's clothing and cape. I'd just like to quickly mention that I bloody love Royal Purple by Vallejo. There's just something so rich about its colour and it paints on so nicely. <sighs> Once you're happy your purple is looking good, thin your khaki tan colour with a little water and paint the helmet, armour plates, his hands, the parchment down his front, and don't forget the purity seal paper on his backpack too. This lighter colour will help add a nice tone to the gold we'll apply later. Next up, use your grey paint to colour his shoes poking out from under his robes, the degree on the base... Degree again! Every time! That's really weird, you can't say debris. It's the brr, I can't do brrrs. <laughs> Next up, use your grey paint to colour his shoes poking out from under the robes, the debris on the base, his cane, as well as the weird reel-to-reel -reel tape player thing he's got going on strapped to his side. Now mix a tiny bit of white into your purple and work it into your dry brush, and sweep some of that lighter colour on the lower parts of his cape. Add a little more white to the mix and do it again, but just try to catch the bottom. This will create a nice natural looking fade, as well as highlighting some of the ripples of the cloak. Now use your silver paint to catch some areas of his tape player, his backpack, as well as the pipe on his chest and the dangly medallion thing at his waist. Gold is next, and using your standard brush, just apply it lightly to the helmet and armour. We also added a bit of gold to the little round part of his backpack, just for some variation. Now thin your red paint slightly, and carefully paint the orb under his hand, the eye lenses on his helmet, and the purity seal wax. You can also catch the weird third eye thing in the middle of his head, but I wanted to keep it gold for my model. At this point, you just want to take a look over your whole model and make sure the base coat edges are nice and clean. I accidentally got some tan on my purple, so I quickly fixed that with some thin purple paint. Get some white paint on your standard brush, wipe it almost all off, and quickly overbrush the debris to bring out some of the texture. So, we're at just 12 and a half minutes in and our base coating is done! Now it's time for the wash stage. First, we'll be using our black wash to shade his clothing, robes, and the debris. Then, add your brown wash on all the parts you didn't cover with the black, so his skin, the armour plates, and the parchment. While you're waiting for the washes to dry, paint the rim and base black again to fix anywhere where you might have got other paints on it. So once it's dry, and after just 20 minutes of hands-on painting, this speed paint for Esburn is done. A nice basic paint job that anyone can do with just a few paints, and he's ready to play the game. As always, Guy will show you a few extra ways we can easily bring out some more detail. If you've enjoyed the video so far, I would really love it if you could hit the like button and leave a comment too. We love hearing from you all, and Guy always replies. I do, actually. It's very good. 11,000 subscribers and I reply to every comment. No. So, grab your detail brush and let's start working on the slightly trickier elements. Mix your silver and gold paint in a one-to-one -one ratio and use this paint to just catch the edges of any of the gold areas that you'd like to highlight. You don't have to edge highlight here, just a little tap here and there will give the impression of tarnishing and wear. 
You can also add a bit of shine to the pipes with this colour as well. Using thin silver paint, simply paint the ring on his left hand. Add a tiny bit of yellow to your red paint, thin it, and add a highlight to his eyes and the orb on his cane. You can use this to add some little highlights to the wax of the purity seal too. Mix your khaki tan colour with white, thin it with water so it's a little more transparent, and gently paint the upward facing parts of his exposed hands. Use your khaki colour on its own, thinned, to paint little sideways streaks along his parchment. This will hint at some sort of texture. Don't forget the purity seal too. You can use a tiny bit of thinned pure yellow to add a little dot to the centre of his eyes to really make them pop. Now let's work on the cape. I want to keep things quite simple, so I used the purple paint thinned to make it a little more transparent and streaked some highlights on high areas of his cape to bring back some of the vibrancy to the colour and add subtle highlights. I then added a tiny bit of white to the purple and started building up highlights from the bottom of the cape up, getting close to the design but avoiding the recesses. Again, I added a tiny bit more white to the mix and focused more on the bottom of the cape, reinforcing the transition from light to dark, bottom to top. To boost the contrast, Guy used a detail brush and black wash to carefully line the recesses of the design in the cape. Just take your time doing this, and if you go over the lines, don't be afraid to use your finger to wipe away the mistake and try again. Your purple paints will still be wet at this point too, so you can easily fix any bigger mistakes. Lastly, we'll mix a little white into our grey paint and highlight the raised areas of the cane. Huge thanks to Robin and Pete, the Agents of Sigma, Andrew and Garlash for donating to the channel since our last video. If you'd like to help us out too, you can find the link in the video description and on our channel page as well. So in just over 40 minutes, Esburn is done, and looking pretty good if I do say so myself. Esburn is a really nice model to paint and lends himself really well to speed painting. You can obviously use this guide to get him up to this level, and then you can start experimenting with your own touches as well. Maybe adding a little gold into the design on his cape, for example. In the next episode, we'll be painting the rattling mercenaries Ryan and Grouse. Subscribe so you don't miss out. Bye for now. Bye.